a student finds the product 1 fourth times 3 eighths as follows. And so here we're seeing the process that the student did to find um, that product. And we're being asked to come up with something to tell the student, which makes me think that there's probably something going on here that maybe the student shouldn't be doing. So let's take a look at what the student has done. So they start off by writing the original problem, 1 fourth times 3 eighths. And then let's see what's going on in this next step. Here, they're 1 fourth, they're multiplying by 2 over 2. Now, why would they be doing that? Looks like they're doing that in order to come up with a common denominator of 8. So now, instead of 1 fourth times 3 eighths, they have 2 eighths times 3 eighths. And notice that that is legal. I mean, 1 fourth and 2 eighths are equivalent fractions to each other. Then once they got there, they multiplied straight across. 2 times 3 is 6, and 8 times 8 is 64. And then let's see, how did they get from 6 64ths to 3 30 seconds? What do you think they did there? Well, it looks to me like they simplified the fraction. They just left out the step that we've been showing, where they would show 2 times 3 and 2 times 32, and canceling out those common factors of 2. So let's see what's going on here. What did the student do that's a little bit weird? Well, here's the step where things got a little bit odd, right? We know when we're finding the product, when we're multiplying fractions, we do not need the LCD. There's no LCD needed for either multiplying or for dividing. That's only for adding and subtracting. If I'm multiplying or dividing, we don't need the LCD. And this student went about and found the LCD. Now, did they come up with the right answer? Well, let's see. If we do 1 fourth times 3 eighths the way we know we're supposed to do it, are there any common factors to simplify out? No. So we would just multiply straight across. 1 times 3 is 3. 4 times 8 is 32. So notice that the student did come up with the right answer. But they went to a heck of a lot more work to do this problem. They had all these extra steps in between rather than just multiplying straight out. So what we could tell the students, we could remind them no LCD is needed for multiplying or for dividing fractions. Just multiply straight across, be looking for ways to simplify by looking for those common factors before you do the multiplying you'll come up with your final answer a whole lot easier than doing all of these extra steps that really aren't necessary at all.